Yeah, I don't snooze. Yeah, swear I got way too much to lose. Ooh, yeah, in the booth. Drop a little something, get them loose. Yeah, 22. 22, I was in the booth. Yeah, I don't snooze. Swear I got way too much to lose. Hey, this feel like amnesia. Hey, see ya. Okay, I feel like I should talk a little louder than that, but it's like 6.37. Um, I finished finally getting ready, cleaning up a little, and planning my bullet journal. Just making sure that I have everything done for today. Sorry if I'm super quiet, but like I said, it's super early and I don't want to wake my sweet mates up because if you don't know, I'm in college and I live in a dorm, so I'm still trying to be cautious of everyone still asleep. So today, basically, I wanted to try waking up at five o'clock and starting my day because I really want to have a productive day. And I think that this video will be focused mainly on having a productive morning. I'm gonna give myself until now, it's 6.38 right now. You probably can't see it, but it's 6.39, 6.40 basically right now. And I'm gonna give myself until the afternoon, so 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna see like if I can have a productive day because today's Sunday, I have class tomorrow. No, I don't. Today is Sunday and I have work tomorrow. So when I go to work, I work basically the entire day. And then I have like late afternoon, evening, and night to do all my tasks. So I'm trying to start having a routine to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning so that I can get a lot of stuff done in the morning and that way I have the night to go to bed early, just do some self-help type things so that I can wind down my day at night. So I'm going to see how this works and hopefully if it works out really good then I can like start this routine. It's so dark outside. Um, so as you can see I was writing down my task in my bullet journal. My plan isn't to finish everything on my task list before 12, but it's mainly to see how much I can get done in the morning. Make sure you subscribe if you are not a part of my fam. Uh, we're growing super fast. I really am so grateful for every single one of you that watch my videos and just like take the time to watch me, basically. Also, if you are watching this video now, don't click out. Like I want you guys to stay glued into my videos. So make sure you don't click out. Make sure you just keep me playing, you know? But yeah, so subscribe, thumbs up, and comment a little something down below. You know, it could be literally anything. And check my description box because I don't know who reads my description box, but I'll tell you guys to comment certain things. Yeah, but it's basically 6.45 now. I've been talking a little too much, so I'm going to start my day. So yeah, let's start. <laughs> I didn't finish all of them because my professor hasn't gone over the rest of the slides in class 
And I like taking notes while they're talking because I kind of, I don't know, I'm weird. I, if I did a good amount so that when I'm in class, I won't be behind taking notes because I write kind of slow and I'm left handed and I write really dark. It's almost eight o'clock like I just said and I think I'm going to go print out some pictures right now for my bullet journal because I just want to print out some pictures. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel really productive. I've been drinking my coffee that I made. So I'm gonna go, hopefully print out some pictures. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> I just came back from the computer lab and there was so much paper. These are what the pictures look like, just black and white pictures. Pretty basic, but it looks so cute in my journal. And while I was down there, since they had so much paper, I was like, why not print out my handouts? Bunch of handouts, PowerPoints, outlines for my class. That way I can have it during class. And if I write a little slower than the pace of the class, I also have the PowerPoint in my face so that I can just look on this versus the projector screen. It is about basically 10.30 and I am so happy because I am finished with everything that is school related that I had to do today which is so great because it's the morning like my goal was to have all my school related tasks to be done by 12 but I finished like an hour and a half earlier than scheduled so I'm super super excited about that like literally waking up earlier saves you so much time and you have so much more extra time throughout the day to get things done which is okay it makes sense but like you know waking up early is kind of hard but this morning I did it and honestly cleaning up my room that really helped because like I feel like I'm in a positive environment and personally I have to work in a positive clean environment and if my room is messy then I'm not gonna get anything done so now I'm gonna show you guys an overview of what my bullet journal looks like and if you want to see me do my February spreads then just comment that down below so I'm gonna put my pictures in here first because I really want to add those before I show you guys but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and put the pictures in here and then I'll show you guys what my setup looks like for 2018 so far so yeah okay so before I show you guys my overview of 2018 I will just go over what materials I use for my bullet journal. I got this from Amazon. It was about $10. I'll have the link to everything that I mentioned in the description box, but it was very cheap. They can get really expensive, but since I'm just starting out, I decided to go with a cheaper option. And honestly, it's really good quality. And then for writing utensils, I've bought a lot of pens, but these are like the main ones that you can use for every day. You don't need a lot of colorful pens honestly just black and a gray is really good my writing pen is just the pilot g2 pen in bold a lot of people use the fine point but i like the bold because i like the visual of dark letters and i use this for taking notes for school too so i have these paper mate flare pens um i got these from office max but honestly do not buy anything from office max literally that is a whole ripoff i paid nine dollars for this pack of pens but at target they're like five dollars so basically this is a felt tip pen so i use this for outlining lines or writing headers and then these are honestly optional you don't even really need these but i like these they're dual sided pens by tombow it is a felt tip pen don't quote me i'm still learning everything but i'm pretty sure this is a felt tip 
pin on this side. And this side is what I use the most. It's a brush tip pin. So it feels like a paintbrush, literally. And I use this mainly for highlighting. So like for everyday use, I just recommend a gray. A gray is really nice for highlighting. So yeah, and I got these from Michael's Craft Store. I don't know what other stores may have it, but I know for sure that Michael's sells this. And I also use literally a pencil to just like write things first before I outline it with a pen because pens are permanent. Okay, so start off with the bullet journal. It just has like a, what do you call this? It helps you close the book. Basically, a bullet journal is a journal that doesn't have lines, it has dots. So I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm gonna zoom in. This is what a bullet journal looks like. It's just full of dots that create like grids and boxes. It makes it very fluid for you to draw, write words, sentences. It just makes it a lot easier. So at the beginning of my bullet journal, I basically just have my name. Wow, y'all really see my whole government name. Okay, let's just pretend that's not there. Just have the index. I was practicing writing and that's why this looks so ugly. Basically, I just number all my pages and I'll write down the pages throughout the year. This is a year at a glance. Literally, this took me at least two and a half hours to make this because for one, this was the first spread that I did, so I was literally teaching myself. Um, I found spreads on Pinterest. That's literally what I do. I just find like inspiration on Pinterest and try to like tweak it a little bit so it's easier for me to do. The next two pages are my routine. So I have my morning routine on the left side and my night routine on the right side. This didn't take me that long to do. So on page five, I have my 2018 goals. And I just split it into categories, fitness, finance, school, and YouTube. On page six, I just have like a let's begin. I didn't know what to do on this page. And I was like, Maybe I should practice my calligraphy, so. I didn't even write this in like calligraphy. I literally wrote it normally and then shaded where it should be darker at. So now this is where January starts. I just did, I just wrote January. Did like the month at a glance. I have a few things in here. Honestly, I feel like I don't even like this spread that much, which is why bullet journaling is so cool because you can legit change it every single month. I have my video ideas for the month and I've done those two videos. So if you have not seen those, just definitely go check it out. And then I just have a small little calendar for February in case I need to look at the days for some reason. Okay, so this page, I need to work heavily on this. But yeah, so basically I'm trying to read or watch sermons a lot more. So basically I have a My Daily Devotional page and my goal for the year is to have this entire page filled. Um, and then this page I have January 2018 habits. Basically it's just a habit tracker, things I want to do or create a habit of or things I don't wanna create a habit of. Okay, so this is the weekly spread. I kept this really, really basic. Basically it's just full of tags that I need to do. I will have some homework that would be due for that day and I'll write it down. Up here, and this is the spread for this week. Um, obviously, today is Sunday, so I've done some things already. Yeah, that's basically it for my journal. Um, if you have like any questions or you do want me to do the February video, then just comment that down below. So, yeah. Okay, so it's basically 11 o'clock now, and I'm finished with everything that's school related and video related because I just filmed part of the video that's going up on Tuesday that you're watching now. So now I have the rest of the day to relax and literally it's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's so crazy what can happen when you wake up really early. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, definitely comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up and thank you so much for everyone that subscribed to me. So yeah, I will see you guys on I'm just trying to pass all the red lights and stop signs. I'm ready to go. Before I get to the baby, that's a problem.